Hello my lovelies, welcome to my cottage by the sea, the place where I like to stitch and craft my way to a vintage inspired lifestyle. In today's video I am sharing my most recent makes, my most favourite recent makes from June, July, August, September, so basically from summer. Some of these projects you will have seen here on the old YouTube balls. Some are Patreon exclusive projects and others were just made off camera and you may have seen popping up on Instagram. Those are the places that I like to hang out and if you subscribe to any or all of those then mwah. And uh, if you want to go and follow along to any of um, all of those, then that would be lovely also. So it's been quite a bumper month, so let's just get started with the thing that I'm wearing, which is my most recent make. You will have seen the um, See Me Make This, links, cards, and FYI, everything that I possibly can and remember to, I will link down below. So this is um, a dress that I made for a wedding, a vampire's wife style uh, dress a little bit addicted to those has to be said and I have quite a few um, of those kind of projects here if you want to take a look and haven't seen already the fabric was from Jacob's haberdashery and it is a kind of faux liberty print I mean this whole dress is like a fake really uh, because it's a, a faux fake vampire's wife and it's a faux fake kind of liberty print but really really loved this dress had an amazing time at the wedding the bodice and the skirt are bespoke blocks that i drafted on patreon and i'll show you how to do over there and then the sleeve is based off a 1930s sleeve that um i used to use for products garments that i made to sell but i don't do that anymore absolutely thrilled with this dress love it gonna be wearing it even though it's not like the most um autumnally wintry fabric I'm just going to be wearing it the whole darn time because I love it so this next make was a, a patreon the august project for patreon which is a a giant ruffled tote bag haven't got any good um photos of this or, or footage of it really but it's a huge yeah, it's so big I could almost get in it myself and uh, I'm not diddy and then inside there's like a, a little pochette zippable pocket for all your personal thingers and a tassel because uh, if you spend any time here you know I love a tassel. I've done it in quite a soft fabric it's a twill again from Jacob's Haberdashery um, so it's quite soft I wanted something that I could really fold up and if you you know if you went away for a few days you could fold it up in your luggage and you know bring your shopping back in it or take it to the beach or whatever but you could do this in a um a more durable fabric not durable that's not the word i mean words have left my brain um you know like a denser heavier weight fabric oh, and uh make it a little bit more so it retains its shape because then you get this amazing giant ruffly shaped bag but that's a great one been using that a ton next one is also a patreon project and it was an exclusive pattern so it was my first pdf pattern and it was an exclusive pattern for um for my top tier patrons so it's this duster jacket it's the june bug duster jacket it was based off of sort of you know french vintage workwear or vintage french workwear and then the sort of those late 40s 50s duster coat jackets it's got all these like nice details on it the collar is shaped and um i made it out of a chambray in a lilac didn't know that i really like lilac but quite loving it um again jacobs um and then there's this vintage fabric uh this is actually like really quite old old fabric um on the inside of the cuff so it's got this sort of shaped cuff as well um there and uh one of my patrons made the most incredible version of this so uh i will be making a heavier weight one and i'm actually going to show my patrons how to winterize the june bug so turn it from sort of a more casual jacket summery jacket to something suitable for the older uh, winter months 
which are my favourite months. My next make uh, is this lovely wrap dress based off of a 1930s pattern. It's made from original Celia Burtwell for Aussie Clark crepe. So there's like this printed flutter panels and then um, and then the crepe, which was actually crepe that they found, Aussie Clark and Celia Burtwell, in a warehouse. So it's actually from the, originally from the 30s and then they kind of dyed it all and printed it all. And um, really, really, absolutely love this dress. And I made the dress and then it inspired my Tea with Tara talk over on Patreon because every month you get a lecture and uh, you have to sit there and take notes and pass an exam. But on the 13th of every month, you don't. I just natter about something kind of relevant to the topic of the month and it's sort of fashion history culture. Just basically stuff that I like and I just waffle on while I drink a cup of tea, which I'm also doing now uh, because um, I'm addicted. But yeah, absolutely love this dress and um, couldn't afford Aussie Clark anyway and also they come in dinky dinky sizes and I am voluptuous so and uh yeah so I made my own which is the joy of dressmaking you can dream these amazing things and then make them happen it's magic then I made uh this jumpsuit out of the twill it's the same twill as the giant ruffle tote bag and also a patreon project this one was from copycat July so I basically show you how to copy clothes and create new items from much loved pieces or vintage pieces in your wardrobe so it's something that I've spent a lot of my career doing and um, it's got these heart shaped pocket here on the boob um, which is also a patreon thing like a template and it's lined in a lined in a another fabric and there's like a little snaky on there bit difficult to show really with um, black it's blowing out but um yeah so I showed you how to copy a jumpsuit that I already had and then how to make amendments and changes and I made this jumpsuit and I love this jumpsuit it's just my most favorite thing and I really must make one in um like a really dark denim I'm feeling like a something with kind of sleeves like this in denim um with maybe some ruffles and puffles and all sorts of delights don't really often wear denim like blue denim um but i feel like having something redonkulous to wear uh, and the cut of this is really good so that was that one i used one of my favorite uh commercial patterns which is the liberty london bella tea dress to make this lovely tea dress uh, off camera and I just put ruffles on because this is a vintage fabric so it's a probably a 1930s fabric uh, it's this gorgeous 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 dusky pink with these sort of sprays of um, blue and teal white flowers and I just did a kind of a big tie at the neckline the rest of the dress is exactly as the pattern I really ooh, I really love that pattern I've used it again and again and again and it's like you've got lots of options to sort of to to make kind of like little hacks and so on um, but this is really really beautiful so it's a, an original well a reproduction 30s pattern using 1930s fabric and um, I really loved this one and it was perfect we had this very boiling summer and this dress was perfect to wear so got loads of wear out of that but it's gonna go away until next year now this one blouse is a very very recent make as you will have seen so again it's another of my favorite patterns and I also did tutorials for French seaming and how to do the burrito method with a yoke and this is a Liberty London very pretty pink um, but I have a bit of a problem because I love blouses and I love dresses and I love jumpsuits but I'm not really fond of trousers and 
I mean, I do have skirts. I have got um, my Dita skirt that would go with this, which is a really nice one. So it's not like I don't have skirts, but I'm not really drawn to skirts or trousers. I have printed out the Lucille trouser um, by Gertie on Patreon, and I'm gonna give that a go, but we shall see. I sometimes get a bit annoyed um, using other people's trouser patterns because you have to do so much tweaking so i may just use the the block i created for the jumpsuit and then create a trouser of some kind but then i just don't really kind of want to wear them so anyway i make blouses but then i'm quite restricted by you know how i'm what i'm wearing them with how i style them and so on you know what i mean sometimes we have a thing and it's our thing and we can't get over the thing you know what I mean? But love this. Going to be wearing this all the blinking time through the whole of winter. And then the next thing that I have is also another blouse. And I love this. This was a Patreon thing. Sorry for those of you not on Patreon. But anyway, this is what we got up to. This is the Sweetie blouse. It's just um, based off of a, a dolman block, which I showed you how to draft from your bodice block. And then we made um, this this little late 40s, early 50s style blouse. Really, really versatile. I'm also gonna do some kind of winterizing thing where we do the sleeve, longer sleeve, so that you can wear this um, in winter. But absolutely love this. Just this with a black Dita skirt. Favorite outfit? Well, one of my favorite outfits. This next um, dress here, is a version of my 1939 shirt dress and I've used um, the same sleeve here as um, this sleeve and it's out of a sort of a linen viscose mix from you guessed it Jacobs and I have only just recently made this um, and just absolutely love it. And one of the things that I really like is even though it's based off of that 1939 shirt dress, with the addition of this sleeve, even though this is a 30 sleeve, it actually looks quite Bieber. And um, I love Bieber. And um, yeah, so it kind of gives it more of a sort of a 70s look, which uh, I am here for being a 70s baby myself. One of the things I did though, which is like really, you know when you do a thing and you're like, yeah, I won't be bothered by that, that was fine. And then you're like, I'm really bothered by that, it's not fine. I didn't sew buttonholes uh, because I just really cross with buttonholes at the moment. I've got very little tolerance for things um, after my lovely fur baby passed away and just can't sort of deal with stuff that's normally I'd have quite a lot of patience for. So, um, yeah, I didn't do buttonholes and I just sewed the buttons through the layers and now I'm just annoyed. So I'm going to have to take those off and actually do the buttonholes. Maybe I should do that when I'm feeling a little bit less argy-bargy about stuff. Um, but I haven't photographed this yet uh, or taken particularly any footage, but I was wearing this in recent videos. So, um, love it, love it, love it. And we'll be making... Uh, another version of this in some kind of uh, seasonally appropriate fabric. Whew, final make incoming. This is the dress that I made way back when for the Platinum Jubes, Platy Jubes, Platinum Jubilee in June and also for sort of around my birthday where I um, had my work in an exhibition which did sell by the way it wasn't the only bit of art left on the wall so that was a bit of a relief um this is uh again this sort of dolman block that i drafted over on patreon and it's got a swag i'm so pleased with um the outcome of this dress because it's so vintagey the fabric is rainbow fabrics kilburn and um it's a really lovely fabric and it's a little bit tiny bit see-through but I wear slips under all my dresses anyway um, just notice that I haven't cut threads naughty do as I say not as I do I think is the the lesson here my lovelies I wore and wore and wore this like any occasion that I did go out to I wore I just wore it when it was warm 
or boiling um, and it was just perfect really so um, very very pleased with this uh, lovely dress as well which I will probably continue to wear well into the uh, colder months. I hope you've enjoyed having a little look at my favourite recent makes. There were some epic fails but I um, as I said haven't got much tolerance at the moment so those have just been dealt with recycled passed on or actually unstitched so that I can reuse the fabric into something else because it's very important to me to be as sustainable as possible in my life and it's lucky that I like old second-hand things and rootling tootling through charity shops to find things that suit my vintage inspired lifestyle I haven't done a particular autumn plans at this precise moment but I have got loads and loads of good stuff incoming because we are going into Vlogtober which is my favourite favourite month of the year it's like I, d I just think there are no words to describe how much I love October. I will be doing Vlogtober and I've got some amazing um, project videos for you all thematically inspired by some of my favourite Halloweeny All Hallows type things so if you want to hang out with me for the whole of October doing cosy cottage witchy woo stuff then you know you know what you need to do and um, I look forward to seeing you very soon my lovelies wherever you are in the world I really hope you're keeping very safe very well and uh, getting snuggly for these colder months if you live in a hemisphere where it gets colder and if you don't and you're going into the opposite end of the year I hope you enjoy the sunshine I'll see you soon my lovelies bye